drunk driving spikes during holiday weekends, but a father on the North Shore wants you to know what's really at risk when drivers are impaired. WDSU reporter Jennifer Crockett is live in Kenner with the story. Jennifer. Well, Gina, the choice that one man made to drive drunk is something that that father will have to live with for the rest of his life because of what he now has to live without. He cried when the ambulance picked him up out the ditch to put him on a gurney. I heard one last cry from him and I was the last sound I heard him. Dwayne Kearney Jr. was hit by a drunk driver one month after his second birthday. That was nearly 12 years ago. And today, Dwayne's father continues to tell his son's story about the last days of his little boy's life. I said, I love you, Pop. I was like, love you, Dad. Final words before a quick errand. It was September of 2004, and Dwayne Kearney Sr. left his wife playing with their son in the front yard. But when he returned home, he sees his wife standing on the edge of their yard in tears. Everything went dark after that. The family would learn later that the man who hit little Dwayne had been arrested four times before for drunk driving. The details of the accident are almost unimaginable. He was driving drunk, um, come through a residential neighborhood, speeding, come off the road, uh, hit my little boy. Um, he stopped his car, got out the car, finished drinking what beer he did, place in his lap, threw the can into the ditch next to my little boy. Looked at my wife, got in his car and drove off. But Kearney says that day wasn't the toughest for him. It was three days later when the parents had to remove life support that still haunts him. For the rest of my life, I'm going to feel like I had to play a part in killing my only son. State Trooper Dustin Dwight remembers the accident. It's a burden they are both paying forward, working together to teach what really happens when drunk drivers get behind the wheel. I mean, this weighs heavily not only on the families, but also on those troopers making that death notification. Please just look, wear your seatbelt, don't drive impaired, avoid the distractions. Uh, if we do those things, these preventable crashes uh, would hopefully, hopefully end or drastically be reduced. Now, the man convicted of driving drunk, hitting and killing little Dwayne Carney Jr. served seven and a half years in jail. He's currently out on probation, and we are already starting to see more drunk drivers on our streets. Just while I was interviewing Trooper Dwight there this afternoon, several calls were coming into the 911 station about a driver on I-12 swerving all over the road in Tangipaho. Troopers were able to locate that driver, and they did arrest him for driving drunk. I'm Jennifer Crockett. Back to you.